Good afternoon, this is Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group. We are talking rates, 10-year note yields, higher on a Monday. Recall last week, we spent most of the week trading from 240 back below 230. Well, today we got back above 230, just barely. Uh, really not a huge calendar data day. Uh, not seeing much on the earnings calendar that was really market moving in rates. Uh, and ultimately, it was just more of a position trade, kind of a tight range. We stayed within that Friday range, so nothing to kind of signal a breakout or that we're, we're picking up or maintaining any kind of momo momentum. Treasuries are definitely waiting, and they're waiting for they're waiting for tax reform. They're waiting for something out of Washington, out of a Fed chair nominee. So there's a couple of things that they're waiting on. Likewise, there's some rising geopolitical risks in the world that are kind of kind of a thorn in the side. So ultimately, when we look at, at everything that's going on, and we talked about this on Friday, is that where is the volatility? Where is market volatility? It's nowhere to be found. You, you don't see it in, in equities. You don't really see it in commodity space. You certainly don't see it in rates. We're on historic lows, and we maintain those levels despite the fact that there's a lot that we don't know it's going to happen shortly. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of confidence uh, uh, problems with the Fed. Where is it going to be? Where are rates going to be between now and a year from now? Uh, where's demand for treasuries going to be now and a year from now if equities remain on the all-time highs? So there's a lot of questions that aren't being answered, and volatility is not really reflecting that right now. So we've got yields that are kind of hovering within a range. We've got low volatility. This week brings a, a very light calendar week. We, we had Yellen speak last night. She did talk about uh, the inflation being maybe low for a while, but going to pick up later on down the road. That's, that's something we've heard from the Fed before. Likewise, she will speak again on Friday evening, so we do get her twice this week. Uh, we will get some bank earnings, which I think will be more color, more colorful than anything else. They aren't going to really move the market, move the bond market all that much. And I think that as we go forward, we're still going to be waiting for this Fed chair nominee. And whether we get that this week, we should get it in the next two weeks if history tell, it repeats itself. However, once we do get a Fed chair nominee, uh, a name out there, it has to get through the Senate. And so we, need, we do need to definitely kind of keep, hold back on the excitement because uh, the, the Senate has had some issues with, with pushing through presidential policy as of the last few years. So let's wait on that. But right now it looks to be uh, a Fed chair nominee, what if week, along with Yellen at the end of the week. And, and rates are probably going to be stuck in a range. The big move will come if we get north of 240, which we've tried to a few times over the last six months and failed. Or if we get back south of two and a quarter in the 10 year yield, that would also generate some, some momentum. So right now we're kind of stuck in the middle somewhere, like a lot of trades right now, waiting for something to happen. It didn't happen today, but there is still four more days left in the week. This is Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group.